guys, for those who choose number 4 which is a love call card, here is your reading. So let's see what good karma is coming in your way number 4. So pardon the noise, it's currently raining here in the Philippines when I filmed this. So anyway, this is the overall theme. You got the young. And let's see what else we have. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so may be able to know what's the good karma of those who chose number 4. I feel like you do have a wake up call number 4 and you realize something about your childhood that really could be heartbreaking to you but I feel like at the same time it's a blessing in disguise. You could have a good person in, involved and I feel like... I feel like you're a caring person and you're loyal as well. Okay, just make sure you're not falling into negative entities because I kind of feel like somehow, guys, you know, something's bugging in your mind. So please be close to God. Actually, whenever that happened, or summon St. Michael, mention St. Michael's name three times. So that the angels will come to protect you. Let's see what else we have here. Angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards so may be able to know what's the good karma of those who chose number four. I feel like you are a lucky person. I feel like you're really, really deeply hurt in the past and I can hardly express myself. Maybe you're holding back your voice because maybe you're dealing with karmic that's very toxic to you. Like, you know, one wrong move, they will be commenting about it, okay? Anyway, this is overall energy that's affecting the reading. So, the angels say to me, like, you're not yet there to reach your goals. Um, if ever you do want to be removed from these people, because you're not yet ready yet, the angels say. But once that you're ready, definitely, you will actually be able to leave this toxic situation. Now, anyway, let's clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so may be able to understand. I kind of sense Spotify. Maybe you love to listen to rock music for some of you, so make sure you're listening to the right songs, guys, because it's also triggered negative entities too. If ever you love to re listen to heavy rock metal music, it's not good and you know that evil entities are bugging you if ever you start to be a negative thinker or you can think straight and in your mind there's always bad words so let me remind you guys that the angels of the light never say bad words that's what you need to know and let's check so this is the overall energy so so far the angels are telling you like there's really a toxic energy here can be evil entity that's actually brainwashing you to be in this passion energy so maybe you're actually always feel hot you know are you always into um what they call this and those things that are not actually good can be addictions as well so that's overall energy so the angels ask you to cleanse my room so I'll just go ahead and cleanse the room Alright, so maybe what happened here is that um, the, that entity really bug you a lot, okay? So you really need to remove yourself from this toxic energy so that finally you'll be able to see things clearly. And because of the reason that you have this as the entity, maybe that entity brainwash you that whomever you're connected with that's not going to be successful don't believe in the in that and i can hardly express my gosh maybe because of the reason that if ever you will express you might accidentally hurt your lover so make sure guys that you're not actually listening to nasty entity because definitely whomever your partner is that's the good karma that the divine has given to you but some of you are losing your passion towards this connection because this nasty entity is telling you that it's not going to be successful. So make sure that you're getting close to God and whenever you receive attacks with nasty entity, just 
pray to the divine summon archangel michael three times or saint raguel that can help as well how many weight angels are telling you like yeah this entity is actually brainwashing you that your connection isn't going to work as you can see here and that's why what happened with your voice is that the divine is blocking your voice so that you may not be able to harm your person because the angels are trying to tell you that whomever your person was that you're dealing with you have a that you're destined together and there's really a good match the angels say and you do have a potential for growth here potential to be in a partnership and lead on to marriage and let's see what else so yeah as you, as you can see here the angels are telling you that you could be like this with your heart you're in this defensive mode like you don't want to actually um show your love towards this person and the angels are telling you warning you that they cannot give you this person if you're continuously be like this to him or her so make sure that you are actually in this loving energy towards your lover because whomever your lover was that is definitely your good karma okay so with the star in reverse so maybe this is what the evil entity is trying to tell you that you guys are not destined to be etc but this is what you need to realize is that you guys are a good match okay and you know whomever you're dealing with whomever you're boyfriend or girlfriend th that person is really meant for you and i can hardly express again okay maybe guys with your voice practice to actually um be a good person okay don't be harsh to your lover or else you know you will continuously have blockages with regards to your throat chakra so this is the outcome so the angels are telling you like whomever that you're dealing with guys this is a loving person and this is not a, a person that will definitely hurt you and the angels say please avoid listening to toxic music because the angels say to me it's really pushing you away from people that are loving that are caring and kind of analyze things okay why do you want to break up with whomever that you're dealing with and the person that you're referring to is somebody that's not what this evil entity is saying that they are okay because you will miss out this opportunity if you keep on listening to the wrong entity okay and be close to god and maybe the reason why you're targeted by this as the entity maybe you're not actually you know close to the divine and you're listening to music that some negative entities so make sure the angels say to me avoid this negativity okay avoid thinking negatively of your person because you do have a potential here that you may break this connection or you may actually marry this person so it's really up to you um, but yet you will miss out a good opportunity if you keep on you know sabotaging it by your mind by this by listening to nasty entities so let's see what else we have here with the stones suddenly you know the reading became different like maybe because of the reason like the nasty entity don't really want to read this you know you know to see what's going on really so we got this one so we got the wise so the angels want you to be wiser okay and take a leap of faith to be removed from toxic energies okay or toxic entities so we got this one so maybe the angels are telling you like it really depends on the ending with regards to you whatever you manifested right so with regards to this one maybe this entity is actually brainwashing you that the person that you're dealing with is not a good match for you and you freak out you could be somebody who you know goes to your person and you realize one day that you know this is not actually a good reason why you left whomever that is because with the rose being here so the angels want you to open your heart towards this lover of yours avoid being cold-hearted towards your good karma guys okay because i feel like whomever that you're in a relationship with this is somebody that you manifested 
and this is a good match for you the angels say well 22 manifestation and can be partnership too and we got photos here so the angels are telling you like if ever nasty entities are really bugging you remember to actually focus on your blessings and avoid you know illusions in your mind try to calm your mind not by listening to metal music or whatever listen to the music that gives possible positivity okay because you will be somebody that's negative if you keep on listening to heavy rock music or whatever because to be honest with you guys i do have a friend before this person is so negative honestly to the point is that whenever i will tell something to this person this person will say oh that will not work out oh that that is this and that all negative Honestly, and that person really loves metal heavy music and You know, there's one time that I joined them because I got curious Really my gosh the song freaks me out to the point that You know, I go elsewhere and not with them not not to listen to whatever that they're listening to because It's really toxic. Honestly speaking summoning negative entities to be honest with you that's why I would say don't listen to those music, okay? Because this is what's going on. You will miss these happy things that's going on with your life. Okay, you need to think positive. That's what you need to know. You will identify, you know, bad entities. If ever your mind is driving you crazy already with a lot of negativity, this is how you're feeling. You're feeling like actually you're... You're being brainwashed by the divine of this un You're being brainwashed by evil entities, okay, not the, by the divine, by the Satsi entities that whomever that you're dealing with is a bad person, okay? So the angels say make sure that you are positive. You're ignoring whatever the negative entity is telling you because it's really making your connection in the stagnant energy and it's causing you to sabotage good connection, good relationship because your relationship with somebody has, didn't you say, has a potential to grow as you can see here. All right, so I think that the, the divine is really blocking your throat chakra because you will have a potential to actually destroy that connection. Because if you're not listening to God, angels say you might actually do that and avoid being this deceitful energy to your partner. Because whomever that your partner is, okay, this is could be a light worker, guys, to be honest with you. And the divine is really protecting this person from harm. And of course, angels say what you need to do is actually be in this way as well. Protect yourself from negative entities and avoid listening to certain music that's really toxic. Or even, you know, watching negative negative things in YouTube or whatever. Not only negative music. So, we got to this one. So, this is your theme, okay? So this is what the angels want you to know is that whomever your lover is, that is definitely your good karma. You should be focusing on this person rather than focusing on destroying your own relationship. Because the angels say whomever that, you know, your connection is, your lover, this is actually a destined connection. Okay, loyal partner, the angels say, really loving. And look at that. This person can be pretty or handsome, honestly speaking, okay? And that's a reality about this person. This person can be a light worker as well. So with this love call, it says here, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Oh, this is actually sweet. So the divine wants you to be sweet with your person. I feel like your lover can be very sweet, very kind and influential as well, the angels say to me. And... This reminds me, look at that, okay? So this reminds me that you really have to listen only to the music of love, to the music of, you know, positivity um, instead of negativity because it really totally will affect your life, okay? So avoid negative things. Anyway, let's see what else we have here with the messages. So should I clarify or not? Okay, they asked me to clarify.
In tools and guides, specify guidance to the cards so may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. This help us clarify so may be able to understand. So if you're wondering if you're in the right connection, you are in the right path, guys. Okay, so you're not going to worry about with regards to your relationship. What really worries me is that, you know, you're being brainwashed in your mind by nasty entities, okay? So make sure that you're listening to your heart rather than always to that toxicity in your mind. And avoid, you know, I feel for some of the illusion spell can be somebody could have cursed you with that. That's why you can sing straight. So make sure you always cleanse yourself, bath with salt and water. If you feel like, you know, you're not in the right mindset of thinking, maybe rest your head for a while. That can help as well. So anyway, we got this card. You're on the right path. So based on your future you, with regards to your relationship, it will work out, guys. So your future you is telling you take the leap of faith to work on with your connection, to work on with your career, as you can see. So whatever you have going on, definitely that is the right thing for you. Love life and also work. As you can see here. And the angels are telling you like you have to see the positivity in your connection. Because definitely guys, you guys are in the stable relationship. And first about stability. And you do have positive cards with regards to your relationship. Okay, and you guys match us together as you can see here. And I think that you guys are power couples. Like if ever you will build a business together. Whatever it is, it will definitely grow. Like this person will, will be a giver of luck to you. And that's actually nice. So you got your worthy of these gifts. Wow, well, that, that's nice. So the angels are telling me you have to be authentic with your person. You don't have to hide things from her or him. You don't have to put your walls up against this person. Be a nice person to whoever this was. Because if you keep on doing bad things or ignoring this person, what will happen to you is that you might lose this opportunity. So make sure... Oh, this is actually nice. See that? You guys are a good bunch. That's what you need to know. Okay? So that's why you really have to, you know, take good care of your relationship. Avoid thinking negatively about your connection because that will sabotage your relationship with this potential partner that you have here. Okay? Because this negative entity is brainwashing you to think negatively of whomever this person was that you're dealing with and you have to listen to your heart as well because with regards to your heart you do have a connection together you do have feelings for them and the angels are telling you like if ever it's about work related you're on the right track guys okay you shouldn't go to another career because in the beginning part of your reading i kind of feel like you will walk away from whatever you have guys my gosh look at your reading you're on the right path honestly why would you leave see the positivity of whatever you have because obviously if ever all of it will be gone then what will happen to your life you will miss great things in your life so avoid sabotaging it Okay, listen to your heart. If ever your mind is really bugging you, making you think negatively, guys, please. Avoid thinking negatively. Avoid worrying too much. Honestly speaking, it's not healthy. Honestly, it's not healthy. You will miss out great things in your life. If you keep on listening to negativity. That's it, Daisy. So, anyway, thank you for being here, number four. I hope that this reading may give you some insight and send you all peace, love, and light. Bye!